And we're looking at a 1998 Bluebird bus, previously owned by the US government. And it was used um, to haul, um, I'm not sure who it was used to haul actually. It is set up as a jail, but the doors are off of it. Can be used to haul people just like it is. Low mileage, 76,000 miles, automatic transmission, Cummins diesel, good tires, run and drove a good distance to get here so it'll drive you home anywhere you want to go. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a cheap price for what it is. Cheap price. Body is in good condition, has some surface rust. Nothing terrible. Looks like it has a set of air horns. I'll have to try those. Tires look nice and deep. Not dry rotted. Surface rust. Uh, the batteries look good too. Looks like they're only a year old. It has some uh, storage compartments under here with some things. I think there's cables belong to um, them. I will have to give those back. But other than that, everything else in there comes with it. Got a broom, a hose, a couple other things. Good looking tires on the back, nice and deep tread. Michelin's 22 and a half. Exit doors. So what are the uses for this bus? A million different uses. <laughs> uh, does have air conditioning and heat. I uh, cannot get the air conditioning to do anything. So, uh, obviously it can be used to transport people be made into a mini home RV type thing, um, a hauler, many different uses, up to you. Got a six cylinder Cummins in it. I do, by the way, also have this Ford truck here, um, raised Drew Ford bus, a uh, handicap van that I will be selling also, should be listed the same time as this. This does also have a bathroom in it. So it looks like there were two seats for, what would you say, moderators? And then uh, one area here that's cordoned off, but there's no door there now. So I think they used it without these doors. And then coming back now, I'm 6'3", and in the center, um, I'm wearing a hat too, but 6'5", my head does not hit. <coughs> There's the bathroom. I'm not sure about that or how it works or what the tank is like. So that's it. How many does it seat? Well, two in a seat. Two, four, six. Looks like uh, 42 people, unless you put three in the seat. Does not have seat belts. They're just plastic seats. Again, it does have the duct work for the air conditioning, but I cannot get it to work. I'll close that window up when I get out of here. I imagine that's the rear heater. Now this bus had been sitting Oh, about two weeks. Came here, started right up this morning. No problems. I'll start it up now. The brakes held. It does have air brakes. And uh, they held pressure fine. These fans on. I'm supposed to turn those off when we start it. Look at me. 
coming. Tell whether the diesel has clean oil, as you know, they always look dark. So it snaps down. The heat fan does blow. So it looks like the ABS light is on, and uh, I'm not sure what that one is. It's not an oil light. It has cruise control and a four-speed transmission. And down here it has the trans air conditioning controls. So again, I cannot get that to do anything. Lights up. It's not blowing around, sorry. Not. Oh, the door is closed fast. That's an automatic door. Uh, you can see the air pressure is good. And that took about yeah, a couple seconds, a couple minutes to, to uh, build up the pressure. I'm not going to take it up to highway speeds here, but it has plenty of power. Shift's fine. Brakes are working. to ship this bus I imagine we could get it down to the port of Baltimore but I'd have to talk about that well there's your test drive I know it like I said it drove from uh, the upstate area, so it it uh, came a pretty good distance to get to us. The air brake works. So what is this bus worth? You know, it's hard to say. I will tell you that to replace something like this, uh, cost a fortune depending on what you want to use it for it's got a lot of life left in it it'll transport people could take these grates down it's not that big of a deal to uh un unbolt them up top and then you'll just have a regular bus here with uh you know without anything looking uh, crazy or if you want to turn it into an rv you already have the bathroom in the back um, I had a gentleman buy a bus just recently and he's starting work on it already. I can't wait to see the pictures. Uh, I've also had the country western band buy them and put a rack on the top for the festivals and, and haul their equipment and uh, make it into a nice riding coach. Or I'm sure somebody could tear everything out of this and turn it into an entertainment machine where, you know, for parties or whatever roving thing you could think of. That's how you open up the door. So it has a uh, clear title. Again, the owner was a U.S. government. It's a one owner. Clean Carfax. Original 76,000 miles on a Cummins diesel. I guess I gotta open the door from here.
and uh, put the key right here. Now, one thing about this bus can only be picked up on a Wednesday. I know that's tough for some people. It's, it's another day, we have to make arrangements, but I'm three hours away from where this is. I come up here a lot to storage yard because they let me store some things here. And um, uh, it's gated, it's safe, it's in a nice little town, no problems. And I'm gonna see what those air horns sound like here. Okay, well, we have air horns. So anyway, uh, I can give you a 60-day temporary license tag to drive it home on or drive it around until you get it titled. I am a Delaware retail dealer. This bus is located in Strinestown, Pennsylvania. It's about 10 miles north of York, Pennsylvania, right on 83. So... I will have to meet you here. We'll do the paperwork ahead of time. And you can pay when you pick up. Get your tag and uh, ride it out of here. And um, head right over to uh, wherever you're going. It's a lot of vehicle for the money. Just have to figure out you know, what you're going to do with it and how you're going to do it. If you're looking for something like this, nice strong vehicle running well starting and driving no problems and uh, it's got the bones to turn into something pretty cool wrap it you know put the, the signs around it it's way cheaper than painting turn it into a football bus or whatever you have a reliable economical diesel cummins diesel you know, in the late 90s, that was the best motor you could buy as a diesel. One owner, well-maintained, that's all I can say. Good Carfax. So, um, please do not bid unless you're able to finish the transaction. You'll need $250 at the end of the auction, and the balance is due in seven days. Now you have uh, 30 days or even more than that to pick it up. Seven days to pay. Uh, I will arrange to meet the shipper whatever day they need to come because I don't have to be here for that. Um, and they can come pick it up if you're thinking of shipping. Questions, call me at 410-340-0008. Jody Palmasano, 410-340-0008. Got a great buy here.